हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आई के सर केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द मॉइस्चर इन सॉइल दैट इज सॉइल मॉइस्चर एंड इट्स एक्सपेरिमेंटल डिटर्मिनेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस इंट्रोड्यूस द सब्जेक्ट द सॉइल इज मेड अप ऑफ मेनली सिलिकेट मिनरल्स it is generally associated with h2o molecules the water content of soil is called soil moisture the soil moisture is the water that is held in the spaces among the soil particles by adhesive and cohesive forces let us now explain a term plant available water which is abbreviated as paw only a certain portion of soil moisture not all the portion of soil moisture only a certain portion of the soil moisture is available for absorption that is assimilation by plants the soil moisture which can be assimilated by plants and can be utilized by them for their growth is called plant available water and it is abbreviated as paw the plant available water is the difference between the field capacity fc and permanent melting point pwp permanent melting point is also called melting point simply thus the plant available water is equal to field capacity minus melting point let us explain these two terms on the next slide first of all field capacity the maximum amount of water that can be held by a certain amount of a soil against the gravity is called its field capacity let us repeat it again the maximum amount of water that can be held by a certain amount of a soil against the gravity is called its field capacity it means the maximum water holding capacity of a soil against the gravity is called its field capacity permanent melting point at the permanent melting point the soil is almost dry and the plant cannot absorb moisture from it further if the soil moisture is less than permanent melting point plants start to build up that is start to die if the soil moisture is less than permanent melting point the plants start to build up and to die there is another term hygroscopic water at the permanent melting point the soil moisture is called hygroscopic water it is held very tightly on the surface of soil particles and hence it cannot be assimilated by plants if soil is completely dried and exposed to air it absorbs this amount of water and hence it is also called hygroscopic water there is another term gravitational water the water moving downwards through larger pores of soil under the influence of gravity is called gravitational water the water moving downwards through the larger pores of soil under the influence of gravitational force is called gravitational water 
देर इज अनदर टर्म कैपिलरी वाटर द वाटर प्रेजेंट इन माइक्रोपोर्ट्स वेरी स्मॉल पोर्ट्स ऑफ सॉइल दैट इज हेल्ड अगेंस्ट द फोर्स ऑफ ग्रेविटी बाई एडहेसिव एंड कोहेसिव फोर्सेज इज कॉल्ड कैपिलरी वाटर एंड द मेजर पोर्सन ऑफ कैपिलरी वाटर इज एवेलेबल टू प्लांट्स फॉर एसिमुलेशन Let us explain these terms with the help of following figure. If the soil is saturated with water, it contains some gravitational water, which is moving downwards through larger pores, and this is called gravitational water. the gravitational water drains out of the root zone and after the drainage of gravitational water water is held in the micro pores by adhesive and cohesive forces and hence it is also called capillary water its major portion is available for assimilation by plants at the melting point the remaining water at the melting point the soil is almost dry and the remaining water adheres to the soil particles very strongly and it cannot be assimilated by plants hence it is unavailable to plants at permanent melting point the water held in soil is also called hygroscopic water if the soil is dried completely and exposed to moist air this amount of water is absorbed by it from the air and hence it is also called hygroscopic water plant available water depends on the nature of soil as illustrated in the following figure this is the lower storage limit of soil it is called melting point it is the upper storage limit of soil it is called field capacity and the difference between field capacity and melting point is called available water this amount of water can be assimilated by plants and hence it is called plant available water it is obvious that sand and sandy soil have a smaller plant available water while the clay soil have larger plant available water silt loam has the maximum difference between field capacity and melting point that is maximum plant available water on the other hand sand has the minimum plant available water representation of soil moisture the soil moisture that is water content of soil abbreviated as wc is generally expressed as the mass of water in gram associated with 100 gram of dry soil the mass of water in gram which is associated with 100 gram of a dry soil is called soil moisture thus soil moisture is expressed as percentage by mass and it is given by the following expression water content of soil that is soil moisture is equal to mass of moist soil minus mass of dry soil divided by mass of dry soil multiplied by 100 factors affecting soil moisture that is water content of soil 
the first factor is soil texture the water content of soil increases with decrease in the particle size of soil due to increase in the space among the soil particles as the particle size of soil decreases the space among the soil particles increases and accordingly its water content also increases the next factor is a structure the water content of soil increases with increase in the porosity of soil and it is again due to increase in the space among soil particles organic matter the water content of soil increases with increase in the organic matter in the soil because the organic matter increases the porosity of soil and density of soil higher the density of soil lower will be its water content because as the density increases the space among the soil particles decreases and a smaller amount of water can be held in this a smaller space next factor is temperature higher the temperature of soil lower will be its water content due to evaporation of water and next term is depth greater the depth of soil greater will be its water content the soil moisture is an important factor for determining the overall quality of soil a typical soil has water content about 25% gravimetric method for the determination of soil moisture let us see first of all principle of this gravimetric method the soil moisture can be determined by weighing a certain amount of moist soil and then weighing the dry soil up, obtained after drying this moist soil in an oven for a sufficiently long period of time at desirable temperature a certain amount of moist soil is weighed accurately then it is heated in an oven for a sufficiently long time at desirable temperature so that moisture may come out from it completely then the mass of dry soil is also weighed accurately thereafter the soil moisture is calculated using the following relationship and it is nothing but water content of soil that is soil moisture is equal to m moist minus m dry divided by m dry and multiplied by 100 where the terms involved are written here m moist is the mass of moist soil m dry it is the mass of dry soil and if these two masses are known the water content of soil can be calculated with the help of this expression apparatus required the first apparatus required for this purpose is hot air oven which temperature can be controlled in the range 100 degree centigrade to 110 degree centigrade it is the hot air oven which temperature can be controlled on the controlled with the help of switches on the upper portion of the oven a balance of precision of plus minus 0.01 g an analytical balance is required in this method whose accuracy should be plus minus 0.01 g this is analytical balance aluminum moisture can a moisture can with lead which are made up of aluminum are used in this method this is the aluminum can and its lead auger 
or any other tool to collect soil sample. It is auger, it is dipped into the soil and soil comes along with it on moving the auger from the soil. Desiccator, it is desiccator, it contains anhydrous CaCl2 or silica gel in the lower portion. The air within the desiccator is completely moisture free because silica gel and anhydrous CaCl2 both are moisture absorber. The hot and dry soil is placed in this desiccator in the aluminium can so that the dry soil, completely dry soil cannot absorb moisture from air. Procedure The aluminium moisture can and its lead are cleaned, dried and weighed along with the lead. The moist soil sample collected from the field is taken in the can and weighed along with the moist soil and lead. The moist soil is taken in the aluminium can and its mass is measured with the help of analytical balance along with moist soil and lead. The lead is removed from the can and heated in a hot air oven for 24 hours at 105 degrees centigrade so that moisture may be expelled out completely from the soil sample. The can with its lead is allowed to cool in the desiccator so that the completely dried soil sample cannot be yeah, cannot absorb moisture from air and finally the can is weighed again along with the dry soil and the lead and in the final part of the method calculations mass of aluminium can plus lead w1 mass of can plus lead plus moist soil w2 mass of can plus lead plus dry soil w3 the mass of moist soil can be calculated by subtracting w1 from w2 mass of moist soil is equal to w2 minus w1 and the mass of dry soil can be calculated by subtracting w1 from w3 mass of dry soil w3 minus w1 water content of soil that is soil moisture is equal to m moist minus m dry divided by m dry multiplied by 100 and m moist is equal to w2 minus w1 minus m dry and it is equal to w3 minus w1 divided by m dry that is w3 minus w1 and multiplied by 100 if w1 w2 and w3 are known by experiment the wa water content of soil that is soil moisture can be calculated with the help of this expression now it is moisture probes are available in the market which give the direct reading of soil moisture these are based on moisture sensors this is the moisture probe with two rods having moisture sensors these rods are dipped into the soil up to certain depth and this monitor gives the direct reading of soil content of uh, water content of soil that is soil moisture thank you for watching the video with patience please like and share it you if you have not subscribed my channel eight please subscribe it so that you may get information regarding my new videos in time thank you again